Hey YouTubers, just wanted to go over a few uh, press modifications that was done to this uh, uh, little 20 ton press. It's one of the aftermarket ones. It was by Cummings Tool, but it is equivalent to like the Harbor Freights and the uh, Northern Tools. And it's been a good little press for me over the, over the years. Uh, I've made some modifications to it that make it uh, a little bit more friendlier to use. Uh, obviously, I raised it up a little bit. It was too short, so brought things up a little bit higher. Um, one of the biggest uh, safety things I think I did was to get some of these large press plates from Swag Off-Road. Uh, they make a real good press plate there that's steel and not the, the cheap cast pieces that could shatter under uh, pressure and load, things of this nature here. Do a lot of rebuilding of some uh, uh, T5 transmissions and 3650s and always trying to press off gears and things of this nature here. So when you got uh, transmissions or other heavy stuff on top of it, uh, one of the things that you really uh, need is uh, a movable bed that can carry the load. So uh, a fabricator shop that's a, a couple of miles from here, the old timer there has this set up on his. And so I looked at it and talked to him about it and he was real friendly and you know told me about how he did it and the parts that he used and how most of the stuff is just garage door uh, uh, wire rope and, and pulleys and things of that nature. So <clears throat> it, it'll easily handle, you know, four and 500 pounds uh, without any issues at all. But uh, basically we just have a, uh, a boat winch that's secured to the, uh, the side of the press and both cables in will feed in and roll up and down on the spool. So at the moment I'm going to uh, uh, re be redoing this here when I build my new press. Uh, but then the, the wire cables just go up to a double pulley set up here. And then one comes back down and just stays on the inside of the I-beam there, or the C-channel I should say, and then attaches to the bed. And the second one uh, travels just across. And I made these extensions here. I had originally had, uh, had these wheels just lowered right here and the cable running around the cylinder. But then when I loosened up the cylinder here and started moving it so that you could line up on, on press work a little bit easier. Uh, as you got it closer over here, the angle became so great that it would push the cable off the pulley. So I redid these and raised them up higher so that it would clear my pressure gauge. So you'd want to keep that in mind. Also, when I go to uh, build my own press, uh, because uh, the transmissions that I'm doing with and, and, make, and working with, uh, the bed right here is just too narrow. It's only a couple of inches here, so I need to be able to sink, uh, you know, large main shafts down that are loaded with gears. At the moment, I have to use these big spacer pipes set up on there to make this work. But as you get older, and these things are awfully heavy, and you don't want to wear out a back too darn soon, so we're going to be building another press here. Um, there's a really good, good couple of YouTube videos, uh, Press Talk 1 and Press Talk 2 by uh, uh, Keith Berner with, uh, I think it's Boatwright uh, Ship uh, Works, but uh, really good press stuff, and he has a really top-notch stuff there on his press, and so you can really get some good ideas here, but what's really handy about it is uh, I have this set up right now because I'm getting ready to press out some small pieces, and as they drop through, I'll place a box right here on these wooden slats, and then all my parts will uh, fall into that. And then they're just these things are just easily removed with them being just wood dowels and all. And we are ready to go. So now, just imagine if you got a, a, a 200 uh, pound piece of equipment up here or just a 100 pound piece of equipment and you need to lower it up and down, you're going to either A, have to take the equipment off so you can pull out your pins and lower all this, or you can just use your winch. So off it comes. Then I just, uh, my holding handle, release the safety, and come on, come on back down. So now let's just say, let's raise this up. And we will now I'm trying to do this here with one hand so I don't uh, drop this and now we, we just lower it down
and that is a lot saves a lot of wear and tear on that back trust me I use this thing a lot in my new design I'm going to be building a, a press that's a whole lot wider here like I mentioned earlier but I want to redo the uh, rope system here so that it's a little bit more user friendly the uh, the only bad thing about this design right here is you got two wires that are spooling up on that one spool so sometimes one wire will will bunch up in one area or uh, and the other one won't so then the bed will want to get kind of uh, cockeyed on you so that can be kind of a pain so then you have to move some weight off to one the other side so that'll apply more tension to the rope things of that nature so i think i'll still use the same winch system but i'll just use one um i'll just use one rope here it will come up and we'll make the loop just like we're doing here and back down to the uh, center of the bed here but here we'll put a, a turn buckle and and bring the wire back up and we'll move move this second pulley over here out and then bring the pulley over and then down and then affix it to here that way it'll be self-leveling and then you will only have one cable riding up on this uh on the winch itself uh the uh, the keith ferner uh bed is, is really nice it's a it's chain uh, uh, driven and, and gear driven like with gear racks and stuff and i thought about it and and that that system still may happen i don't know yet uh that's probably still a year or two off it's a it's a lot more complicated system but it is a lot smoother this type of system here is, is a lot cheaper but um it's not uh as aesthetically pretty per se so anyway that concludes the uh this little uh tour of uh my 20 ton press so y'all be careful see ya